Hello and welcome to the Sussex Azure user group. We're doing something a bit different this week, and it's the first one of the new year. It is, is that right? bad, We've been pretty bad. We've been pretty bad. It's March, and we're just getting around to this, but very different today. Uh, we're actually at the home of the Sussex Azure user group. This is where we host our events normally, uh, just out there, although it used to be downstairs, but it's now upstairs. But, you know, we're here. Um, looking to get back into in person events in, in exactly. same time. I was actually presenting at one of the, like recently, so I think, yeah, watch out, some, some stuff coming. But uh, very different setup tonight. We've we've probably taken a bit of a tangent away from Infra as well tonight, right? Yeah, we thought we'd test ourselves, do something a little bit out of our, outside of our comfort zone. Very much out of our comfort zone. Infra focus, so it's it's relevant to our audience, um, but at the same time, you know, it's it's showing what you can do with the power of Azure on top of a load of things that you probably are already doing in Azure. Yeah. So in short, we're going to talk about video analyzer as part of the Azure AI services. Yeah. What we thought we would do is take some assets that we have for the Sussex Azure user group, so in this case, YouTube videos, and run Video Analyzer on top of it. So, yeah. so what Video Analyzer is, is basically a, a way of using a bunch of Azure AI services, pulling them together in a really nice interface. Yeah, bunches of load loads coming together, like text-to-speech, and like all those uh, like facial recognition, yeah. uh, personal identification, brand recognition, like all of those things that are individual cognitive services and AI services we have today, but in one nice package. Exactly. So we, we've never done this before, so we're taking you on a journey, we're going to see if it works, and if it is as easy as we think it is to deploy, hopefully you'll get some value about showing how two Infra guys can suddenly get value out of using AI in the cloud. Absolutely, and I think some of our key goals from this is like, we've, how many episodes have we recorded now on the podcast? 28, 28 30? Yeah. So not all of them got videos, so we're going to use the ones that have got videos. I think we've taken a sort of a preference on our like Ignite roundups or like reviews of big events. So we're hoping to find some common trends of like, you know, buzzwords like maybe VMware we talk about, or maybe like uh, Intel we talk about, or maybe new VM SKUs, like see how common like certain things are that pop up amongst these services. Um, but that's what we really were looking for. But like you imagine how many other people have got, you know, there's loads of people in the community who've got YouTube chat, uh, user groups that record videos, do podcasts, all of these different bits of content. But imagine the like, amount of value you can get out of that data, like all that investment, not just putting it out there and giving it to the community, but imagine you start giving transcripts out and you start yeah. giving common themes out or maybe highlight reels of certain content. Like all of this stuff, it should be possible. So yeah, uh, enjoy, see how it goes. <laughs> so basically all we've done is we've created a storage account. We've uploaded some of our YouTube videos, just the raw kind of output pre-edited. Yeah. Um, so we've got some content there of just me and Jack rambling on as we do. But what we thought we'd do is kind of just show how the flow works on the on the whiteboard in terms of what we've configured in Azure. So you're better at Oh, well, it. okay. This is going to break yourself. I'm so, going to grab a different color as well. Yeah. The way that we, behind the scenes in terms of how we edit the YouTube videos. How we manage our channel. It's, it's <laughs> very, very simple. It's a OneDrive share that, that both yeah. Jack and I have access to um, with some raw content in there. So. We use StreamYard to record the um, podcast typically, and it just gives us an MP4 output. So all of our files are in uh, OneDrive, so let's just draw them here. These are our video files. And then we obviously upload these to YouTube. Yep. Uh, and I'll try and draw a different page symbol correctly. Uh, there we go, and we'll just put YouTube here. Yeah. Handwriting isn't my forte. Lovely. Uh, so we actually do an upload. Uh, into YouTube, or you do that, because uh, well, I do other bits, <laughs> I do the website, and then from there, once it's up in YouTube, obviously that's where we, we get all of our stats from, but what we've effectively done here is now taking this a step further, so we've got an Azure subscription, so let me just draw a big box, so uh, let's just click subscription, uh, and inside here, what have we got? Uh, we've got a storage account. Yeah, we've got re a, a single resource group with a storage account hosted in North Europe. Yeah, we'll just keep this short, but I will draw that. Yeah. Uh, so this is a storage account. So let's just do the standard storage stuff, uh, and then we'll just call it storage. In case you're wondering, it's just LRS. The only change that we have made is made the content available publicly. It is public, uh, but that was mainly for ease of this demo, right? Yeah. Because uh, where we are at the moment has a very uh, limited internet connection. So we put it, we uploaded these in advance, put them in a storage account, 
And then what we're doing is telling the video indexing service, which we'll draw in a second, to go and get it from the storage account in Azure, because they're both in Azure. So rapid data transfer, and we haven't got to wait for things to upload. So yes, you're right, I'll, I'll probably put a thing on here that, that just says uh, it's public. <laughs> Um, yes, security risk. Yes, we could use private endpoints. Yes, we could use all these wonderful things. But for the purpose of the demo, uh, that's that. And then we've got, uh, is it inside the same resource group, this video indexing? Yeah, it will be, yeah. So um, this is a weird symbol, so bear with me. It's a play button with some like tentacles, is probably the best way yes. to make it. And this is a really new service. It basically uses um, the video analyzer. APIs to get all of the things that it, it, it uses. So it's basically like a PaaS service that you spin up and you get us, we'll show you in a minute in the demo, but you, you get access to a separate portal that allows you to see all of the stuff that it's done for you, which it calls insights uh, and transcripts, you'll get all that stuff as well. So, so we've taken all of our files and we've uploaded them into this service. Yeah. Um, and then there's a like a front end portal, right? That's sort of outside of Azure, it's not something that we're connected to. It's not like a VM or something that we're connected to inside of our Azure subscription. Yeah, it links you from the result from the um, from the resource within the portal, but it's called basically the website's called mm -hmm. videoindexer.ai. So let's just call this like uh, let's call this like uh, video indexer web. Uh, apologies for my handwriting. Uh, and this is a SaaS service, and that is effectively, you know, somehow behind the scenes using our instance, using our instance of video in indexer, and obviously has then got access to our files. Uh, and us here are connecting into here. It's from a demo. Okay, cool. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, right? But this is where we've got it. You know, these are effectively um, missing a line, so I'll just draw that quickly. We've uploaded these into there. One of the things that we could show, and hopefully this works in the demo, is what you can do is it's got a very kind of simple editor in there, mm. and you can pull mul multiple parts of multiple videos together to like into a, a clip or something like that as part of a project. So you, you could potentially export back to that storage yeah, you can account effectively go and back go back, back the other way. Yeah, and um, I think it's any, uh, any destination that's sort of got a URL endpoint, but we'll, we'll see in the demo, right? We're, we're, no, uh, we are not experts in this service. We are very much playing along and, and seeing what how it goes like, as, as we go. Yes. But that's you know where the real value is, right? You can see that it's not that hard and maybe give it a go yourselves and you know deploy it, you know, if you've got an MSDS subscription, spin yeah. it up, give it a go. You've got some content and video, give it this, you know, see what we get out of it, see what value we get from it, and hopefully you can too. So if you're an expert in Azure AI, you're probably cringing at all of this and we apologize, but this is an infra based show <laughs> <laughs> like we are not uh, developers or AI specialists by any stretch of the imagination, but it's an area that I think we're both very interested in. And you know, infra is only uh, so cool for so long. Yeah. We'll, you know, we, we want to expand and see what other services are available in the world of Azure. So let's jump to our um, our, our computers, and we'll just do a quick overlay of, of a bit more of what video analyzer is. So. Um, we, we basically bought up the docs mainly because we needed to figure out what we needed to do. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we just thought we'd show you a cool diagram in the documentation of, of how you get started. So it'll give you an overview of, of what Azure Video Analyzer for Media is. When you go through the documentation, you'll see there's Azure Video Analyzer and Azure Video Analyzer for Media. Um, so yeah, it's important not to get too confused. Video Analyzer, so far as we understand, is basically the APIs that you connect to. So um, I work with a lot of media customers and they uh, run something called MAM, so Media Asset yeah. Management um, Applications. And what they'll do is um, the ones that are built for Azure will use those APIs to use the same services that this video analyzer for media is using. So it's kind of like access to the back end services. The, the video analyzer for media gives you the nice front end that, you know, infrastructure guys like us can, can use without <laughs> having to build a MAM and all of that complexity. Yes, sir. Uh, but this diagram, I think if you scroll down a little bit, like it's, it's incredible, right? So um, where we've shown this diagram, uh, we've drawn like a play button uh, with some tentacles, which is yeah. the, the symbol on the right hand side of this diagram. Um, all of these things are packaged into this product, right? And if you, if you pick out a few in here, we've got transcoding, we've got face grouping, we've got face detection, we've got um, 
observed people, we've got uh, at the top under audio, we've got emotion recognition, we've got sentiment analysis, like are we happy about what we're talking about, are we afraid of what we're talking about, like picking up those things, uh, are we picking up keywords, do we say the, 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 the phrase um a lot, like you know, <laughs> yes, all those do. sort of things, <laughs> yeah, for, yes we do, yes, hopefully we'll see that as a, as a topic and a, a bit of data we can get out of this, but you know, from you not having to stitch all these services together independently and build your own application, which you absolutely can do, right? If you're an application developer and you want to, you know, write your own Python application or your own C sharp application or .NET application using the SDKs to plug into these, yeah. you absolutely can. But if you're not and you're like me and Ryan, this is for you. Yeah, absolutely. So um, yeah, go and have a look at the docs. It'll talk about the um, privacy elements of this as well, because obviously, you know, if, if you're uploading videos that have people in that don't know that they're being you know, analysed in this way. And go back and listen to our like, previous episode with Maria, where we talked about all of this stuff with uh, about AI for ethical purposes and AI for good. Yeah. Um, because we went into some great detail there on more of like the, I don't know, the, probably the human side, I would say, of AI that is really important to consider. But I think even right at the top of this document, there was a massive like yellow warning that says, right. like, Microsoft have announced we're not going to sell facial recognition technology. Like, and this was a big, big news story at the time. Like, mm -hmm. we won't, we said no um, to a, for a police departments or anything like that. So, yeah, very interesting stance, but for good. So, go and listen to that previous episode, and, and we'll link to that as well. So let's um, let's try and try and make something happen, shall we? So we've got, like we said on our diagram, we've got our resource group called Basic Names. We've got our Sound video archive. I think I've still got uh, storage. No, I don't have storage. As you pop into the storage account, we can have a little look in there. Yeah. Uh, and then we use storage browser. Of course. Thousands of containers. So, yeah, there we go. We've got that YouTube archive uh, container. And it's got three files in here. Yeah, all hot storage. Here's the, the file size. Here's we put three of our episodes from, from YouTube on there. So, so pretty simple. Um, if we want to spin up. Um, the video analyzer for media service will create a new resource. Um, video analyzer, search for that. It's American spelling. There we go. Where um, is it? Analyze. Obviously, you could do this from code and all that stuff, but it's a little bit more easier to show on the portal. So, we're going to put it into this resource group. Um, it needs to create a new video analyzer for media account. We don't have an existing one, so we'll let it do that. We'll call it a resource, so SAUG Video Analyzer. Also needs a media services account name. So we are going to need to create one, because we don't have one. SAUG M-S-A-N-1. Oh, you love a case. Oh, you love your capitals. I know. Get okay, out of the on-prem names. <laughs> <laughs> M-S-A-N-1. Nice. Uh, so we've got an storage account, so we'll just reuse that one. Yeah. And we need a user assigned managed identity as well. Cool. Yeah, and that will make sense. So may... oh, habits never die. <laughs> As of now, obviously, you've got your own naming conventions and don't use ours because uh, they're, they're awful. Uh, right, review and create. And we obviously tag everything normally. Normally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's pretty painless. And you can understand why it's building those services, like the media service is going to be like where you use it for the ingestion, get that video data in, and then probably start doing some of the transcription and some of those services. So our video analyzer for media is, has finished deploying. This is what the resource looks like. There's not a lot to do in here, but it does give us a, a little handy link here that says explore video analyzer for media's portal. So this is just going to open up a, a new tab. Get to sign in with AAD. You'll see that URL that we mentioned earlier. Videoindexer.ai and boom. And um, yeah, so we've we've uploaded some um, some of our videos already in here. Just to make this demo easier, like, but it's very easy to upload. Like, where do we literally go? We literally hit the upload button, right? Yeah, you can either browse for a file and then um, enter a file URL as well. So and I think that's what we did, right? Yeah. So we ended up the the public URL from our storage account, gave it a name, pressed upload, and also it spent some time thinking and doing its indexing, um, so it could do all of its stuff. So let's see what kind of things we can do with Video Analyzer. Brace yourself for some embarrassing moments, and these are the pre-edits, right? So these are the polished uh, the videos that you would normally see. These are, um, you know, Thank you. the raw. So right at the beginning, this is going to be us chatting about anything before we start one of our remote podcasts. 
Um, so yeah, what have we got in here? But also, you know, straight away it's picked up that there's two people in this video. It's picked some great passport photos. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we deliberately uploaded some videos where we're sharing some content on the screen. So if you caught our last podcast just before Christmas, we did a kind of you know end of year roundup, but um, where we're disappearing from the screen and doing demos and things like that. Jack's appearing at these parts of the video. I'm appearing here, which is great. Good yeah, to know you're in a lot of the video. I am, yeah. <laughs> Good to know there's nobody else in there. Interestingly, it's picked up 17 topics. So cloud computing, computer networking. Let's expand this a little bit. Network virtualization, V5. So yeah, did we talk about F5? Yeah, we I must have talked about F5, yeah. So if we hit VMware vSphere, this is going to be in the video where we're talking about ABS, right? Um, uh, or there's nothing for you to do from a UDR perspective, but it's really important to understand this is chain or low balances. So oh, so this is gateway low balancer. Like here, yeah. then chain there must be a reference to VSphere. I must be talking about VMware in here. Um, so topics, and then there's keywords as well, which... Capacity reservation, I'm not surprised. <laughs> we spent like 10 minutes in this episode talking about capacity reservations. Well, that's really cool. Disc pools, Disc as we pools. talked about. Yeah, that ABS. Right. I'll click that part of the video. It's going to take us to a, a bit about Disc pools. Yeah, that's going to do. There, there it is. Tell Disc pools to VMware uh, VSphere solution. Um, labels. So, human face. What's this? I'm not sure what so labels So, these like, sort of like, uh, you know, tags almost effectively, but it's picking out like what it can see. Like, I can see glasses on there, right? Like, my glasses are very prominent in the video. Um, like it can see smile. We didn't smile very often. Yeah. We s smiled before we started. <laughs> this, this is great. This is interesting. So good people named identities, entities, entities as well. Yeah. So Skiff, Brighton. Oh, well, there you go. We must be talking about coming back soon in first one. We are here. This is where we're doing it from. Um, and that was right at the end of the video, right? And I actually remember saying this where we talked about really? doing, you know, an in-person event with Skiff. So. Personally, really enjoyed was was an open mic night for kind of IT players. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Emotions. So we've got 2% joy of this video. I mean, it's good. I mean, at least it's there's nothing else in there. It's all joy. That's good. And it's picked up some different scenes okay. as well. So this is where we're starting to share our screen. So yeah, where the, so the video is changing. Um, it's really good. And it's um, captured like we'll frames there. It's not just like individual screenshots. It's like there's a whole section here. Like that's from like 11 minutes to 14 minutes. Like, that's really interesting. Mm. Okay, so we've got some really good insights from this video. Has it done the transcript? Let's have a look. So I think if we hit timeline. Yeah, okay. here we go. So if we go to a part of the video where we're actually talking about something interesting. Can you search for that? So if I, if I, again, let's let's search for disc pool. Yeah, that because that was one earlier. Nice, 20, 20 minutes 39. See something like that. I can go to that point. Something else for ABD, like that jet stream one. I think one of the things we want to talk about specifically is this pool, right? So it's um, pretty much nailed what I've said. That's really cool. Um, and also, if I if I just take this out of the search, I think what it will do is it's follow it's the um, the like auto scroll yeah, okay. on. So I've, I've, um, it will just follow us as, as, as we're talking, um, a bit like subtitles. A lot of people are hitting well. Obviously, when you the commercial model of ABS is. Um, you pay on a per host basis, yeah. and there you minimum go. cost of software. So that's interesting. We can re-download the video from here. And you can download all those in insights as well. That's nice. So you can download the source video or download the insights, JSON, all the captions. That's really handy for us to start uploading transcripts and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm just going to click this button, see what happens. Open an editor. So I read about this. this. This is projects, and I think we can pull multiple videos into a project and look at the insights across all of them. So say if we spoke about disc pools across more than one, we yeah. can put them all across. So if I, um, did we talk about disc pools more than one? More than likely, uh, at VMware definitely. Okay, so let's go VMware. Let's call this project VMware. Let's add the other videos in. So that one and that one. All right. And then if I do VMware, it might come out like Oh, there you go, yeah. Boom. All the sections we talked about VMware. We talked about a lot in that episode. Uh, hang on a minute. So There's VMware, yeah. VMware in that one. And VMware in that one. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Let's scroll. Mouse is... Uh... Yeah, there we, go. there we go. So we spoke about VMware in all of them. That's amazing. So if we select all of these together, what does it let us do? Is it, gonna... is it like a highlights reel? Maybe. We're going to click that one. Let's just 
you can also you know do some like yeah. do some VVMs and exactly the same and do stuff like VMware. So lots and lots of cool features you can be able to put it going at home. Got the next video. Yeah. 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 That's so amazing. So That's so cool. So it's, it's exactly already like edited well. this together in a single clip. I mean, um, it's like it's not something you're going to use in a production, but like if you're doing like a really rough draft of like here's all the ways we've talked about this so particular product or thing over I don't know the last six months or the last twenty videos we've done, mm. that's really powerful for like a marketing team. But like, were well, these are the ways we've talked about it? And maybe you've got other data that says, well, this video worked really well, but this one didn't. What was different? Yeah, exactly. Or you could, see, yeah. I mean, a, a marketing team could go into this and say, we need to find all the videos of. Um, Boris Johnson from the from the last kind of six months yeah. where he's talking about um, Brexit or something like yeah. that, right? So you could put Boris Johnson Brexit, pull all of your videos into this, just make a quick clip, send it to your, you know, yeah, another, maybe an editor or like producer and, and just say which, you want. which ones do you want out of these videos? So, so really, really cool. You could just download that as a clip all ready to go. Um, okay, I like that. That's that's really interesting. One thing I did find with this, if you really wanted to, um, you know, see what capability and you didn't have any, if you just wanted to play with this, haven't got any content, it does have some samples in here um, where there's some kind of Microsoft videos. So we've got some things with Satya in here talking to, you know, the, the coach of Seattle Seahawks. Um, but we're going we're gonna to get a load of these. The insight's already pre-populated in here. You won't have to wait for it to do its indexing and everything else. Um, and there's a lot more scenes compared to our videos because it's changing a lot. But um, yeah, you can actually just just play with the tool um, if you want to get some hands on with this really easily. So like obviously it was picking out faces and stuff there. So like can we add our own faces? Because you didn't know who we were, right? Exactly. I think what it does is it uses Bing to find famous people's faces, right? And, and then you get some some information like insight, about them. Like, oh, that's incredible. And it's showing a description of, of who this guy is, right? For his Wikipedia page. Exactly. And then it shows all the Satya. pieces where Satya is in the video as well, um, which is cool. It's like he's picked the side of his face it's out. Side of Satya, yeah. Not, not perfect there, but... Is that somebody um, through a helmet on that one? Yeah, that is somebody in a helmet for like 0.4 <laughs> percent of the video. But that's incredible. He still picked out a face. Okay, so, so let's see if we can, you know, how do we add our faces? So we go model customizations. People. Um, People, yeah. So if we add a model, I could add Jack in here, um, and I think what it allows you to do, if we just read the text, upload videos that include their face, and we could tag Jack as that person. So I've got, be weird if I did, if I had a picture of Jack, of Jack on my laptop, I could upload that, um, train the model, and then it will know who he is. So if you add yourself then, yeah, and then can we do that from here, or do we have to go back into the video? Um, Oh yeah, so then do you add add people? Add a person. Oh, we're gonna get to it. Should be the first time for us all here. So uh, yeah, try try oh, getting right, images. Okay, so now you, you add some images, so So let's let's try and train this model and let's get a picture of Jack's face in here. So if I go add person, what's he gonna ask us? Jack can ask for like URL, or like Bing search. So oh, it's literally just file. Image. So we need an image of Jack. I don't have one on my machine, but if I just, I'm sure you've got a web presence, Jack. Oh, hopefully. Uh, there he is. Not that guy. Not that guy. This one. And not the internal, internal system. <laughs> Let's go images. What? What? I, I mean, like, I wish I looked like one of these. There's me. Right. If I, uh, let's just say that. It... All right. Uh, close that. It's got that model there, okay. Let's just have one of me. And now that's that. So if we go back like into our media, media. Yeah, it's do we need to do anything from there? I don't know. Like, what can we do? Can I actually click on one of those people? <laughs> Awful pictures. I wonder if we have to um, re, re index the video, maybe, or model customizations. What's that do on the left? That's where we were. Oh, that's where we were. That's right. So if we now drop that down, click on that. Can you like click on my name? Rename my me as a person. Okay. And then we do the same for you. Yeah. So it's just put me as a new person. Oh, uh, it's because they're separate models, right? I get it. 
So like it's one model, so we could have both been in the same oh, I model. See. That makes sense. What else have we got in here? We've got languages, so we can train English. Oh, well, so if we, if we got a specific, oh, specific vocabulary or industry term. So like if we're using an acronym like CAT, for example, yeah, like we could train it to teach what, what that, that actually is. That's cool. Also, if you, if you were, you know, if you spoke with a heavy dialect or slang or something like that, and, and you used words that weren't common in other, you know, yeah. parts of the country. Think like a southern, southern ac like acronym we use quite a lot, like Bosch. Bosch. <laughs> No. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> like maybe that's sorry. I haven't said that in a while, but it's probably stuck in my head for now. So we saw this already. Show brands suggested by Bing, but you can add brands as well. So if you were doing this for a marketing company like earlier, or, or, or a corporate company, you could you could add a brand in. Animated characters is something interesting. So like if you were like doing like cartoons or something like that, that's cool. So we've got our people in there. What what can we do with that? Let's uh, go back to our video and see. Um, yeah, is there like some Still unknown you, people? Watch the edit in the top right hand corner. In a very bad part of the portal. Doesn't, um, yeah, it doesn't really work. Uh, unless I'm doing something wrong. Let's, uh, I have a funny feeling that we would need to go back to here and then go re index. Oh, okay. Yeah, go for it. Oh, advanced option. Ooh. We'll do our other one. Let's see what the advanced options got on our other one. Okay, so you can tell it if it was in a different language at the start. You can just do the video or the audio only. Oh, so you can do audio only. So well. if we if we uploaded our audio podcast, I we, don't we know would that get that work. We'd get the transcription from it, then, wouldn't we? Maybe. Potentially, Maybe. It might be worth trying to see if we can upload a uh, an audio file. Uh, people like there you go. So people <laughs> models because that's what we were just creating. Yeah. So okay. So it might now pick us out because it's got a photo of us. Oh uh, right. Okay. So that's I'm with it. So you create one model of like staff. So we, do we need to select that when we index it? Potentially, but then it's only going to pick out me potentially, right? Because you're not in the same model. Right, so I've done that wrong. But you know that's 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 cool. So let's let's hit re-index. I wonder how long a re-index takes versus a, 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 a like a standard index. Mm. That's the one that I've done it on, so episode 27. So I hope that demo was useful. Obviously, this was the first time that Jack and I did it ourselves, so yeah, maybe a little bit clunky, but I think we got some really interesting insight out of the videos that we've got. Obviously, our content is a little bit simple in terms of it's just the two of us on the yeah, screen. Very true. You know, there's not many changing scenes and stuff like that, but if you do want to get some hands-on, just spin it up and have a look at those samples. Yeah, those samples are great. You really get a feel of, of how um, video indexer works. I think we'll definitely get some value from it as well. Like if we put all of our video ones on there, I think it'd be really interesting to like see like common words that we're using across all of those. Like cause as you can export those uh, like data files into JSON or zip files, mm. like whack that into like a database, put it into Power BI. Yeah. Like you can build dashboards and reporting off all that stuff. So like, it's quite a, a good service to be able to get just some raw data out of a video effectively. And if anything, it just shows the power of our AI capability. Crazy. You know, all in a nice, simple, really easy GUI. If me and you can do it, most people can yeah, do it. exactly. So, yeah, absolutely. So, well, hopefully, next time we're here, we're actually in person. We're hosting a live event. Yes. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. I think, you know, we'll, the world's slowly getting back, back on its feet from a, a COVID perspective. So, we, we hope to be back very soon. Um, we'd love for anybody to come join us for some beer and pizza and come and join us uh, at the Skiff down in Brighton. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it's been been great fun and it's been good to meet in person again for for the first time probably this year we've actually yeah, met each other. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. So um, but yeah, have a good have a good one and uh, we'll catch you on the next next one maybe in person. Exactly. And also just before we wrap up, give us some feedback if you like this kind of style of Jack and Ryan explore something new for the first time, or or if you hated it and you said please guy that was cringe worthy don't ever do that again. And if you it's don't like my diagram, I don't want to hear about but it. But if you want us to do like a you know face face-to-face -face demo or something in this kind of format again for something that we can talk about yeah info focus we can go into lots of detail just let us know but uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one thanks